Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to do unboxing and installation of Kingston Grey Series RAM. This is 1600 MHz memory, um, 8 GB kicked. In this one we're going to do two kits installation into my current rig. Now this is budget setup as you can find from my other videos and the motherboard I'm using is Asus P8 Z68 VLX motherboard. I'm going to simply see if it will support the amount of RAM at the 1600 MHz frequency uh, with all slots occupied. Currently I have 4 GB of RAM. There we are, 4 GB at 1600 MHz. I'm currently using um, HyperX Blue RAM. There we go, DDR3, 1600 MHz. This one is not XMP RAM, so we're gonna see how it goes when we upgrade it. And there we go, let's switch it off and pop the case open. Before I do, there's a quick unboxing of the memory itself. Just trying to preserve the packaging. Okay, there we are. Very nice memory indeed. Or should I say memory shield? Memory itself, you can see underneath is just a green PCB. What? There's your Kingston HyperX Grey. Heavy and solid kit. And there we are. Next, um, I have unplugged all the cables, which in my case is DVI cable and the audio cable from the back of my case. I've left my power cable in. I'm going to switch off the switch on the power supply. I'm going to let it run for a second until the caps lose all the current still flowing in the case. I'm going to grab myself down. Okay, now I'm going to remove the existing RAM. I'm sorry guys, I didn't show you before unpackaging the RAM. I actually grab it myself as well. So every time you handle RAM, make sure you do so. Okay. And just touch the power supply provided it's connected into the grounded socket and make sure it's disconnected so there would be no power coming to the motherboard itself so there is my hyperx blue series 2x2 two two gigabyte sticks now the reason i'm upgrading is because i have purchased these two gray kits for my video editing machine um, that will be Ivy Bridge based but since it's not yet out I'm going to simply put them in this rig and just see how this particular motherboard will handle the amount of RAM at the frequencies so um, I'm in no particular order I'm, going to, I'm just going to populate all the RAM slots over there. Now we've got all of our memory installed. I'm going to show you quickly the setup, how it looks like with all four DIMMs occupied. It's pretty neat. Um, would look even nicer if there was a proper cooling setup in this. Um, I'm just using Intel stock cooler and uh, as mentioned before Asus P8 uh, Z68 VLX uh, budget motherboard. So, what will follow next is a boot up of our system. So, I'm gonna reconnect the DVI and the audio cable back to where it was. As I said, I did preserve one box for the my old RAM so I can store it safely. And let's see, first call boot. So far so good. Let's try 
want it to go into bias. Yep, there we are. And memory, I can see straight away. 16 gigs of memory at 1600 megahertz. We're gonna go into advanced mode. And we're gonna check it again. Tweaker. Um, XMP profile, there we go, it's going to set itself automatically to 1600 and all the timings right. So we're going to go save changes and reset. And there we are, just a quick boot into Windows 7 Professional 64-bit, just to show you that Windows operating system is recognizing all 16 gigabytes of RAM. And 64 bit operating system, 16 gigabytes of RAM, all recognized and ready to be used. As always, um, make sure to run Memtest um, program. You can download, download it for free. I'm going to put a link down below just to test your RAM. Um, also, you can run Prime95 to stress out your CPU and memory to make sure your rig is working fine with the amount and configuration of the memory that you added and as always uh, thanks uh, guys for watching if you like the video click a thumbs up or subscribe and feel free to leave any comments or questions down below thanks for watching have a nice day